Miller, dude. Yo, what's up? Come, come here. Come check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a video for you guys today? Miller has yet to have seen it, and uh, let's just say we're doing something with the Honda Rubicon. That bad girl right over there. Miller, dude. What's up? Can you figure out exactly what I'm doing? Not exactly, but I'm wondering why you have two spare tires. Maybe, maybe there's no tires on the other side. Do you got the tires off of that side? Maybe. Can I walk around and see? Come on. Oh my freedom. <laughs> this is gonna work. <laughs> we are doing the dually dually Honda. Dually in the front, dually in the back. Braden, 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 how are you doing this? Well, it takes a lot of these wheel spacers. It takes some of these. I don't even know what you call these things. Linked in the description. And it takes some of these. I'll have everything linked in the description and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing to mount up a whole nother set of tires to the four wheel. Yeah, we kind of have a gap. <laughs> We kind of have a gap right here. You know, when I was ordering the $800 in wheel spacers, my calculations kind of got off. I wanted them to be pressed up against each other so they act as one tire and one unit. If these sidewalls are touching, you actually have a lot more stiffer of a whole unit right there. But that didn't happen, so we're probably going to break something today. What you looking at? How do these even work? Like, I don't even know what you're doing here. <laughs> here, take the camera out, show. All right. So, first things first, you want to tear into this little baggie right here. What you actually need, convert these from, I think, hub centric to lug centric. Lug centric to hub centric. One of the two. You need these little washers. What these washers do is actually center up the wheel on the stud and uh, they'll sit in there just like that. And this is basically a stud extension. So you'll throw this little washer on the stud. Go ahead, put your stud extension on there. Tighten her down and now you can add another wheel or another spacer, which we actually gotta add three more spacers because we're doing about five spacers on every wheel. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Tighten this puppy down. Now we'll go on to the next one. That's all it is? It's just a whole bunch of those and then you got a whole bunch of spacers? <laughs> yep, these and spacers. It's kind of sketchy. <laughs> it is very sketchy, Miller. <laughs> That one doesn't look straight. Yeah, they're probably not. This is like a death trap. Not gonna front. Definitely not gonna be a high speed unit, but. So we're not gonna put them on the Renegade yeah, after? No, no. <laughs> Come on. High speed run on the, oh. Let's go ahead and grab another spacer. Wait, we're using all of those? Yep. So how I'm actually doing this is we got Can-Am to Honda and Honda to Can-Am adapters and a bunch of Honda spacers. Why is that so complicated? I don't know why I made it so complicated, but that's how we're doing. Go ahead and throw on the Can-Am adapter because it's actually a Can-Am or a Honda to Can-Am wheel adapter on the back side. So we got a Can-Am lug pattern right now and we need to choke it back down to a Honda lug pattern for this bad boy. You really did make this way more complicated I, than it needed to be. Yep, but we're doing it. <laughs> Now we can do the Honda wheel spacer. We'll throw that bad boy on there like that. Oh, that looks real sketchy. And since we're going to Can-Am wheels, now we need another Honda to Can-Am adapter, which I don't know where that's at. I think it's over there on that table. Can you go grab that? Now your Honda lug pattern, it actually is a four to 110 and your Can-Am is a four by 137, I think. It, it can get confusing, but. Wait, we might need another Honda spacer on there. Yeah, yeah, there's another Honda. Holy shit. Are you sure we have enough? Oh yeah, we're almost done. Oh, you got a five more. So I lied, you actually gotta use another Honda spacer and then your Can-Am spacer. We got a lot of wheel spacers to put on, so we're gonna go ahead, kick you guys in the montage and show you guys what this thing looks like when we're done. Dude. Watch it not even turn them. It's not even gonna turn them. <laughs> it kinda looks cool, not gonna lie. <laughs> it looks kinda cool, not gonna lie, dude. You can't turn that shark. Oh dude. Dude, it's a wide girl. <laughs> wide load. What a what a load, baby. 
That's a lot of weight just to tire. Yeah. How do you think it's gonna do? Predictions. I don't think it's gonna float. Mainly because these are the cryptids are pretty heavy. We didn't fill them up with air. The goal's not really to float. If the goal was to float, we would use the trail tires and float. Holy crap, dude! I don't think it's gonna pull in mud. I don't know why we did this, we I don't, did, but we did it. This was this seriously was not the plan for all the wheel spacers we bought. It just kind of happened. Now it's definitely not the safest thing, and if you do this to your four wheeler, I am not responsible for everything you break and breaking yourself because it's a very high possibility. I probably did this in the most dangerous way possible because uh, the tires aren't touching. You don't want that to, you don't want that. You, you want the tires touching. And the best way to actually do this is to air down both tires so you can press them up against each other and then blow them up so they, they grab and bind on each other. And so it locks it into one unit. We're not about being safe here at the BP headquarters. Let's just see what see what happens. Maybe it doesn't break. I, are you gonna? You think you can go it, in the bottom of the pond today? Yeah, I guess we're gonna go in the pond. I guess we're gonna go in the swamp. You know, just you guys wish wish us luck. Uh, let's just uh, go ahead, throw on the helmet, and see what the 520 has to offer on eight tires. Oh boy, eight tires on this damn thing right now. That's no joke. Maybe if we had more spacers, we could do freaking 12 tires. All right, let's see how this thing see how this thing rides. Uh, uh. Ah, we about that clear right there. Alrighty. I mean, it's pulling. You can definitely tell. Yeah, you can definitely tell how much more weight is on this thing. Oh, man, it's, it's rubbing pretty bad. The rub does not surprise me, though. Dude, we take up the whole lane like it's a car. <laughs> there, there's 30. <laughs> Alright, we gotta be careful when we're not on level ground because these spacers could just break and the whole wheel come off. So we definitely gotta be careful with that. Dude, what the heck? The power steering is damn sure not as good. You really gotta work to turn this thing. I can already tell you that right now. Holy cow, this thing's wide. All right, we got our first little bump. I definitely would not do this and take this to a ride park. Should we do a little pull? <laughs> That's all she's got. That is all she's got. That's fifth gear. <laughs> chugging, chugging. I don't know how this thing's going to do with the bud, but we're going to take it over here to the swamp and uh, hope for the best. I'm really scared that I'm going to break. Oh, gosh. I forgot about it scrubbing. I really think we're going to break an axle. I mean, I just feel like that's a given. Break an axle or break some studs. All right, go ahead. Throw her in low. We're going to creep her on in here. Oh, that feels like it's going to break something. That felt like it was going to break something. Are you ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for it. It might float. It could float. We don't have a ton of air in these tires. Because we didn't really want it to float. Definitely gonna need four wheel. Let's go third and four wheel drive. I don't know if it'll turn them then. I mean, we're staying on top. Ain't no doubt about that. I think it's floating. Miller, I think it's floating. <laughs> it's definitely floating the front. Oh, let's see if I can get back on it. Look at those tires. Since it is kind of floaty, it's spinning the tires just fine. <laughs> See if we can't go left. We can't turn too sharp. This thing's gotta be interesting in the pond, dude. Holy crap. All right, we'll just barely turn the tires, see if we can't crawl out. I mean, we, it's not like we only got eight tires turning. It's turning them surprisingly, surprisingly well, bro. Look at that. That's badass. Look at the mud coming up off that tire. I'm starting to struggle to turn them a little bit. I ain't broke nothing yet. That's a shocker. Look at both those tires working. That's like 20, 24 inches wide right there. Look at that rear tire. Look at all the mud in it. It's chugging. Throw her back in two wheel drive so we don't break the front axle. I can't turn worth a crap. I can't get this sucker turned. There we go. I think we got it now. It's like the fronts aren't even turning. They're rolling now. Oh, it's cooking. Look at the front, it's just like not even turning in that water. <laughs> what is going on? It's a monster, bro. It is a monster. Dude, it's pulling surprisingly well. Considering the circumstances, man. Are you literally just floating right now? I think so. But I'm kind of nervous to take it in the pond. I think you got it. Should we? Yeah. Bro, I don't know. Bro, you can't get heavy on the throttle or you don't go nowhere. You got to creep it. Oh my. Look at that. What? 
<laughs> Look at the, the rods we're leaving. Let's go to the pond and sink the, I mean, not sink it, but let's go to the pond. Oh, it's a terrible idea. Because the whole goal was it not to float. And it's floating, kind of. It's not even floating all that crazy, too. It's kind of weird. I just want to go around, do a little check, make sure everything's still, still intact. It looks like everything's intact. We ain't broke nothing yet. What the heck? Does it look crazy? <laughs> Uh-oh. It's not showing in, in, in a gear. Look at that. We broke it! It does not read that it's in a gear. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? We go back and forth? That doesn't sound healthy. Oh, I thought you were doing that. I wasn't doing that. It won't turn on now. Oh, there's neutral. There's first gear. Let's go! I don't know what's going on. I don't care though. Something with that electric shift. I told you guys. Oh, there's no fenders on these uh, these outer tires. I'm gonna get mud thrown all over me. Oh, I was telling you guys, I bought this four-wheeler to test out this, this shift button crap to see if it was gonna fail. And uh, that one right there had me worried. I thought it was toasted. But it, it reset itself. It's working now. I've heard nothing but problems out of the electric shift. And I wanted to put the electric shift through some tests to really find out, is it worth the crap? So far, I've loved it, but it gave me some scary signs like that. Makes me worried. Now that we're out of the mud, it kind of feels like this thing flies, dude. <laughs> oh, this thing in the pond's gonna be dumb. All the outer tires have 8.5 PSI in them. No clue what the inner tires are. I didn't check them. It just kind of happened, bro. I started putting things on and I was like, all right, we're rocking and rolling. Hopefully it's a boat and just floats and it's super stable. That would be awesome. But I don't think it's gonna do, I think it'd do it with the 32 inch trail tires, the lightweight big balloon tires. But uh, these tires, these mud tires, I don't think it should float. And if it's just a little floaty, that's not a good sign. Now see if she floats. Uh oh. The front floats. The front feels like it's floating. The, the ass doesn't want to float. It seems like it'd be the opposite. I feel like the front of these foilers are heavier. <laughs> the squeaking from the rubbing. Oh, we're floating the front. B. Oh, it's floating. Oh, this is so sketchy. You're floating all four. Yeah, we're floating. We're floating all four. Braden. <laughs> Braden. <laughs> what, Miller? You gotta stay linear. Huh? You gotta stay balanced. I know. That's sketchy. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, this is shit. This is bad. Yep, that's sketchy. Oh, we're completely floating, dude. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> right in. <laughs> oh, boy. This is sketchy. In a boat. B. <laughs> You're sketching me out, man. All right, come back over, girl. There you go. This is so sketch. Yeah. Third four-wheel drive. All right, come on, girl. Are we on ground yet? I think we're on ground. That water is that deep, and it's not even going over the racks. That's super sketchy. That is super sketchy. That floating sketchier because you don't have a whole lot of control. Here, I'm going to do it one more time. The middle, bro wants me to sink it. We're gonna try to go middle then. If he wants me to sink it, we're gonna sink it. Hopefully we can stay straight. I'm pretty sure there's a hell of a drop off on this side of the pond. Oh gosh. This sounds, this feels like a terrible idea. Front's floating. See what, how deep it is. Oh, bass is floating too high. It's deeper than that, I'll tell you that right now. Whose idea was this? Mine. <laughs> oh boy. Brayden, you gotta get your trolling motor, bro. A trolling motor? Bro, we'd be zooming. Uh-oh, uh-oh. In a boat! Go back down, baby. Not that far. This is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. I want to get out. I want out. I want out. I do not like this. Floating's not for me. Four-wheel drive? It looks like we're going to have to go through this tree to get out. Because I cannot steer this thing with it floating. Sayonara tree. Oh my gosh, this is sketchy. This is super sketchy. Super sketchy. Bro. Holy crap, that's 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 like borderline <laughs> like you're gonna sink it. Like the one wrong move and you're yeah, yeah. no, like floating dude, screw that. <laughs> Who the hell wants to float? Oh boy. Look at how big this thing is. Dude, it's massive. Straight up is huge, bro. <laughs>
Holy crap. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Guys, 30,000 likes and we'll go ahead and do eight tires, maybe 12 tires on something else and run it as hard as it can until it breaks or I break. One of the two. So hit that thumbs up button. We got a lot of good things coming. If you guys would, go ahead, like, subscribe. If you're not already, you don't want to miss out on what's to come. Guys, like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.